Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video. I do appreciate you guys coming to my channel. While here, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And these are my opinions, reactions, and everything is allegedly. And before I get into this video, I have a video that's, I guess I'm going to drop tomorrow or the next day. And I'll give you guys the two names that I will be discussing, which is Melody Cherie and Marcel Scott. So you guys, please make sure to turn those notification bells on. It's going to be very controversial. But let's get into the Huntsville happening for today. We'll be discussing Melody Cherie, Martel, Marceau and Tisha, Destiny and Tiffany. It looks like Melody Cherie is out in Vegas stumping with the big wigs. She posted several stories and reels while at the 2022 National Association Black Journalists and National Association of Hispanic Journalists Convention. Um, it also looks like she had an interview with Ebony Magazine while there. And just a little background on the NABJ and the NAHJ convention. Um, it is a fair that is a premier conference for journalism, education, career development, networking, and industry innovation. And that is something that Mel definitely does. She gets out and networks on a regular. And I think this is why so many women especially love Mel. It's the moves that she's making in spite of what she's been through. I think if more can separate the woman on the show from the woman that they see, they will see how inspiring she is. One lady even commented to her that she is literally the definition of from pain to purpose. And I totally agree. A lot of women either suffer in silence or some even get stuck in that pain. But Melody is an example of how one can rise above it. Looks like she also had an interview with Ebony Magazine. And she also stated that Sugar Mama has a video on YouTube. So guys, make sure you go to Telltale Signs Buzz, um, that channel. And make sure you subscribe. I haven't watched any of the videos yet, but I will definitely after this video. And next we have Martel reminiscing and wishing upon a star of his once family. He posted a throwback video of him teaching Boss Baby how to ride a bike. And I tell you, when I heard Mel's voice, I chuckled so loud while almost choking that man is a mess why would you while you're in the midst of taking this lady to court for full custody of your kids even post a video with her at all the narcissism of it all but i'm sure we will continue to get these father of the year award type posts while he continues to try to prove he's the good fit active parent while Mel isn't. Meanwhile, Mel is out there securing the bag for her children's future while he's again uploading old videos. A hot mess. Are you about to get, are you getting it? Daddy, no! I got you. You gotta take him and ride back there. I taught all of them how to ride bikes. Well, I taught them too. So now, Malia's turn. Then we got one more after Malia. Head up, Malia. I got this, Dad. Good job, baby. Good job. Right on. Make those feet go. Oh, keep stopping on brakes. You can't stop on brakes. No, no, no. uh, this is going to go by itself because you don't have any support. Let's go. She said I need you to help me. Ah. Here we go. Go, boss baby. Go.
Oh, she's going to have to learn how to balance now. You like it? I love it. So I think the real purpose of that video was for Martel at the end to show off the new bike that he brought, Boss Baby. And kudos, Mr. Holt. No special award. That's what parents do. But kudos to you. In other Huntsville happenings, we have Marceau. He made a post from Martell's Wine Event, like Tisha says, event, not event. But anyway, he made a post from Martell's Wine Event, which was also the final episode of the upcoming season. Next, we'll have Destiny. She um, posted a picture. I'm loving that purple chair. Really, really like it. And she also posted a throwback picture from when she was homecoming queen. Um, she also posted a few pics from her performance from this past weekend. And, you know, I'm glad she's following her dreams. That song is just not it for me. But hey, follow your dreams. And lastly, we will end it with Tiffany. People have been commenting that Tiffany is frumpy and dumpy for her age. So she posted a few throwbacks to let folks know what she's working with. So guys, what do you think about the happenings in Huntsville today? How do you feel about Mel being out in Vegas, hobnosing with the big wigs? You know, putting herself out there, going to conventions and panels and getting interviewed by different magazines. I think, again, it's very commendable. Uh, as a woman, I just respect the moves that Mel is making. And also, what do you think about Martell? Do you think Martell had ulterior motives like I do? Because everything is calculated with Martell. So his court case was postponed yesterday and today here he is with the post of him being a great dad. You know, and don't get me wrong. he he's, You can tell he loves his kids. That's not what I'm saying at all, but there's many parts of being a good dad and basically destroying your family is not a good dad to me. You know, to see the kids in a beautiful home and him teaching Boss Baby how to ride the bike and talking about how he already showed the, the older two how to ride. And at the time, he only had one more. Now he has two more to show how to ride a bike you know, Sugar Mama and Knox. So, you know, I think that that's what Martell doesn't understand why a lot of people are so hurt. And I don't relate personally because I was definitely born and raised in a two-parent household, household, excuse me, and not Coleslaw's definition. My mom and dad raised all of us, same house, Mary. So, um, I don't relate in the sense of him breaking up his family and that's where the hurt and anger comes from. But it's just knowing that, you know, they had the ideal life and with his wife giving him chance at the chance is definitely something that he could have saved. So let me know your opinion on that. And then we have the other members of the cast not doing much. I need them to step it up on social media that's why there was a whole segment last year of the the reach that they have with social media. And it doesn't seem like many of them are utilizing that other than Mel. You know, we get bits and pieces here and there from them, but I think they can step it up, you know, keep us all interested even when the show is not on. So, and as I mentioned, I will be dropping the video tomorrow or Saturday with the two main people that I'll be discussing, Melody Cherie and Marcel Scott. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and drop down in the comments, and let's chit-chat. Thanks again.